Careful. You, you hear that? Hey, hey, what? You didn't hear it? What am I supposed to be hearing? They just said free tacos. Free tacos? Free tacos. Wait, what? No, no, no wait, no. Those are the monsters well, speaking. I, I just want to look at one. Babe, no, we're in the woods. There's no tacos. Babe, no. Where'd she go? Babe. They're Hello? Beautiful. What? No. What just happened? Put your phone yeah. back on. Just one. Babe, no. Don't do this. Where'd she go? Oh, no. Too so spicy. Incredible O's again. I am Mr. Incredible. I'm Naturally Lash. And we are bringing you another movie review. Movie review. Alright, so today we are going to review the movie Bird Box. I'm pretty sure you all watched it, or at least you've heard about it, or seen people commenting on it on Facebook. I, think, I feel like everybody's seen this movie. I, I'm, I think so. Or heard about it. I've heard about it. Yeah, you're right. It's been at least two weeks, at least two weeks. There are spoilers ahead. So if you don't want to be spoiled, you haven't got a chance to see it, please click away because we are going to spoil the heck out of this movie. Not before you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe, share it anyway, go watch the movie, come back and then watch the review. All okay. right, all right, so Bird Box. Bird Box. All right, it's a movie. Sandra Bullock is our star here. She's a not woman. Not the Bird Box lady. Not the Bird Box lady. <laughs> Sandra Bullock. Yeah. Right? Sandra Bullock. Um, she's a painter, right? Painter. She's a painter, right? Very artistic person. And she... She's very her, disconnected. Her, from yeah. People. Her character is disconnected yeah, from disconnected. the world. Has trouble building relationships. Has a good relationship with her sister, though. Yeah. I think something happened with her parents where she's just... just not, not, not all not quite there. Like all right, and you know the she's story is about in the beginning. very pregnant. She's very pregnant. Even though she acts like she's not. Yeah, she <laughs> pretends not to be it's, pregnant. It's not happening. And that <laughs> kind of draws into her whole disconnection piece, right? The movie takes place someplace in America. They don't really say where. I'm not sure if exactly. Where. But uh, the kind of story of the movie is. There's an entity going around, or at first it's unknown what's happening to people. Is it a demon? Like what? What Some is epidemic, it? Epidemic. They say it's not viral. Is it the trees? I don't know. Right. Trees. <laughs> <laughs> killing people. It's causing people to kill themselves or act violently in behavior and just do all types of chaotic things. Right. In the beginning of the movie, it hasn't reached to America yet, but the news shows it's spreading around the world at an alarming rate. And before her doctor visit is over, the girl. it's already... Ex but she saw the girl first, so... I didn't say anything about the girl. The girl at the doctor's visit. Yeah, but I didn't say anything about I was getting there. Okay, go ahead. I was going to say, like, I know you're going to say, like, before then it wasn't in America or whatever, but it turned out it was. It was, and it was about to get serious very quick. Very. It was almost like, it was like, oh, it's not here. Oh, yes, okay, it well, is. Well, well, <laughs> there it is. There it is. <laughs> Slammed in your face. How about that? I'm here. Yeah. All right. So before her doctor visit, there's a girl on the phone, totally normal. Everything's fine. Right after the doctor visit, this girl slamming her head through a window, um, yeah. bashing her brains in. So it wasn't cute. Sandra wasn't Bullock, cute. or Mallory, Mallory as her character's name is, discovers that, hey, whatever's going on in Russia is in America and full effect. And before yeah. she can come to that prognosis, her sister is affected by this unknown entity. Who happens to be driving the car. Who happens to be driving the car. And she sees something. She says, what is that? It's the scariest thing I've ever seen. All we see is chaos. And she we just starts speeding. Like she's trying to get away from something. Don't blink. I'm talking about deer in headlights. Not blink. Go. Just go. <laughs> Pedal to the metal. She flips the car. She flips over. Nobody dies. She was supposed to, I guess. She was supposed to. I don't she think she did. I think Sandra Bullock grabbed the wheel or Mallory. I'm not calling her Sandra. Yeah, I think she's Mallory. Like, she, she grabbed the wheel, like, trying to figure out the way. From and crashing them. This, so, if you see whatever this entity is, it's going to happen. You're going to die. Like, you're going to you're gonna die. Right? Chris Rock said, you can't, you can't say no better. If you're a Capricorn, you're going to die. If you see this entity, you're going to die. It's just that simple, right? Her sister sees it, she gets very, very sad, starts crying, steps out in front of a bus, 
Kerplunk. And her sister. Done, son. Done, son. So, that's pretty much the plot of the movie throughout the rest of it. You know, if you see the entity... Bad things are gonna happen. You, you, you die. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right? It doesn't affect crazy yes. people. Crazy or deranged people. For some yeah. reason, they think it's beautiful. For some reason... They didn't go into much detail of, of what about it is. how it's picking and choosing who? the people who more embraces it yes. and try to get other people Not to see in the it, beginning, but, it's, but it, it becomes evident that it seemed like throughout the, the movie. The more that crazier or the more demented you are, are yeah. you're less affected by what's going on, right? So go ahead and get right into some of our likes and our dislikes. What are some things you liked some about the movie? Some things I liked about the movie, it kind of kept you kind of guessing, like you even though it was just like, okay, I want to see what it is, want to see what it is, and then you never really get to see it, it kind of kept you going like, all right, so is this going to be the moment I see it? You know, is this going to be the moment? What's going to happen next? It kind of just really kept you like on edge wondering what's going on. So, you know, that aspect I really liked of the movie. Okay. Um, I had certain characters that became my favorite, but I, I guess we'll Save that. get to that. Little... Okay. All right. Some of the things that... I liked about the movie. I'm gonna go ahead and name a character. You know what I'm saying? My don't, guy. Don't take my don't take my guy. Come on, man. That's everybody. <laughs> I'm sure this is everybody's guy. Douglas. Or Douglas? Douglas. Yeah, Douglas. I'm sorry. Gary was the crazy guy. Gary was a crazy guy. Douglas. I'm sorry. Douglas. Douglas. <laughs> Douglas. He was he was like the only sane person it's like in the movie. Was, it's like he was sitting on the couch. He would say something, and I promise I'll be you, like, almost word for word, Douglas, Douglas would say we'll it. Go and say it. I'll be like, yo. It almost felt like, the reason why I liked it so much is like, it almost felt like that's it was real. Like, that's, yo, that's real. They, they finally made a movie where it's not a spoof movie where it was like, yo, that's not what somebody would do in that situation. Like, he was, like, he was, it was very it was a real, real about character. A real character. Some people were like, oh, he's heartless. Oh, that no, dude trying to survive. Survive. That's the name of the game out here. Yeah. People going crazy, people dying. They trying to survive. He had the right hey. ideas. All the but time. He, it wasn't the popular hey, hey, idea. Sometimes the popular and opinion you don't get. People die because of it. I'm just going to throw that out there. Just going to throw that out there. Just throw that out there. All right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so we're going to. Some of the things you dislike. Um, what I disliked about the movie, I don't feel like there was enough backstory. Like, I feel like they didn't really give us enough so we could understand what truly truly happened like what is it why is it there okay. why did it show up when it showed up you know and things like that what created it you know i go people i'm like okay so you tell me ask me that's so all i want to know okay so why did this happen you tell me why that happened i don't know why did that happen like i just felt like i never got the answer that i was looking for as far as what it was mm -hmm. where it came from and why it's truly so there. They, they did try to give a little bit of backstory and when they all kind of met it, up in the house was it charlie and his story yeah when he was kind of explaining you know he, he was making a book and he was basically studying ancient you know religious cultures where they have you know the end of the world or the apocalypse what creatures will come from those different religions kind of explaining exactly what those creatures do to people and then you kind of see in the movie that's what was kind of happening and they try to give it to us that way, but it was like uh, he's just, he's reading the book. He just studied on it. Is, is it what it really happened? Yeah, or so like, are we to take it like this is everybody what's thought that he was just a little bit crazy? Crazy, just writing the book. That's the truth, and that's what yeah, it was it's, actually But is it happening? true? Because what he was describing, you it's know, what, it tempts you to doing things, what, takes your worst fears, blah blah blah, and you kind of seen it in the movie. So it's like, is it real? Is it not? Well, yeah, because I guess. I mean, if you look at it that way, because when you look at the drawings that Gary did, mm -hmm. they kind of Match. matched up with how he described, yeah, it, described it to be. Okay. Or whatever. All right. So, One thing if you guys I who don't know who Gary is, he's the crazy guy. He shouldn't have been in the house. Yeah, the Gary. We're going to get to Thank that. you, Olympia. We're going we gonna, we gonna to get to that. We're going to get to that. <laughs> Thank you, Olympia. One of the things that I disliked is uh, the ending. I didn't really like the ending. It, it fell flat. It, it, it definitely fell flat to me. Simply. It was rushed. I wouldn't say it was rushed. It, it, it kind of it kind of leaves you to open interpretation. Right? Yeah. And I don't think it was enough to give us, like, to just leave us open interpreted. It's because 
a full spoiler alert here. Um, they make it to an uh, asylum or a safe house or a sanctuary. Yeah. Technically, the creatures can't do you any harm if you're inside of a building or if you're in an enclosed area. They don't force them themselves inside of buildings. They make you come out. They make you come outside, or unless you break a window, somehow they get inside or something like that. I don't even think they get inside. I think you have to like see it. But if you're the door is opening, I guess they come inside. We don't see the creatures, so you don't know how the creatures move, how they operate, what? if it's the wind, because. Only the way the movie notifies you that the creatures are around, the wind starts to yeah. blow very, very, very strong. And birds, and birds, and birds get, go crazy, yeah. start chirping like crazy. Hits bird box. Hit bird. They are carrying around a, a bird, bird box. A bird's in a box. box. <laughs> bird notifies them, hey, the creatures are around. Put your mask on, whatever. Don't look, close your eyes. Don't get tempted. Duh. Right. Duh. Yeah, Duh. five D's, right? <laughs> right? So, in the end of the movie, they make it to an asylum because somebody comes over the radio and says, hey, we have a sanctuary, we're building the community, you're safe here. But right? it's real. They don't, they're, they're not sure if it's real or whatever, but right. they take a chance, they make it there, and then it turns out it's a home school for blind. Right? A lot of the people there are blind, so. And see, that, and that's where I feel like it went flat. Like, I mean, it was a nice leading up to them actually getting to the sanctuary. Yeah. But I felt like once they got once to the they sanctuary, got the sanctuary, it was like, and see. Done. So, my <laughs> question is, this is why I dislike it, because it leaves me with questions. So, because when you first see the creatures, and then by the time they get to the safe house, five years has gone by. So, it's like, okay, these creatures are still running around. Like, it's been five that? years later. <laughs> Do they ever stop them? Is it something that's gonna cease itself over time? How right. do these ancient cultures know of these creatures? If if they never show the their face, that they're gonna come. Yeah, it's like you know like, what? Like how do they, how do these cultures know that these ancient creatures the exist? Do, do they do they show their face? And you know, decrease the world population? Is it like an overpopulation thing? Hey, there's too many people y'all running around. The crazy thing about it is, like we said earlier, the crazy people aren't affected. They, they yeah. kind of embrace it. So after a while, it's you don't be, initially know they're crazy. Yeah, you don't initially yeah, know. Gary they're played crazy. it off really good. Gary did play it off really good. He was crazy as shit. But it's funny because he told on himself without telling on himself. Yeah, he did. Like he said, he was talking about how like the the mentally incapable, like the crazy people at the asylum, at the asylum, and how they were stuff. going crazy, and he. I'm saying that Gary was in the asylum. And of course, he's crazy. Because he's <laughs> straight looking at this creature. He said, look at it. It's beautiful. He thought it was beautiful. It's beautiful. Whatever <laughs> what the people see is beautiful. And he, and he was drawing the pictures of it. And he yeah. was that basically gives the viewer uh, a kind of picture of what these creatures look like. So we're going to rewind a little bit because people probably like, who's Gary? Where did Gary go? That's where we bring up Olympia. Olympia. And honestly, I'm not even going to lie. I felt like Olympia shouldn't have never even been in the house in the get go. Nope, they let Olympia in. And, and, and I'm trying to tell you, she my was just making bad decision my after bad decision. My man's Douglas was like, don't let her in. Don't let, don't let, her, let her in. They were trying to be after too nice. After a while of having Olympia in the house, what did she do? I'm going to go let this guy in the house crazy by guy. myself. So, Nobody around me. Mallory, right, once she, she's on the street after her sister dies, kills herself, to some people on the street say, hey, come in the house, we'll be safe in the house. So there's a group of people all huddled in the house, yeah, right? There was other people. Other people. You know, they're you know, they're all huddled, about a group six, seven people all huddled in the house, right? A few days later, Olympia comes around, another pregnant woman. Um So should we first give them the rundown of who's in the house? Uh um, the main character who's so in the house. So the main character's in the house. Uh, there's, there's Mallory. Mallory's in the house, main character, Sandra Bullock. There's, there's a guy, Tom. Tom. There's we another Tom. There's another there's we're another black Tom. guy, his name is Tom, big strong dude. He's more like the I'm mean, the strength, the rock, the, the hey, glue I, I of the I, house. I, I um, thought he was gonna make it. Douglas, make the it. guy who owns the house, is uh He's a he's angry old man. He basically just said that way. Yeah. <laughs> he's an angry old man. It's with, like with hey, the good ideas. With, with the good ideas. With the, the good ideas. The real <laughs> ideas. Um there's Lucy. There's Lucy. Uh Felix. and there's Felix, who's played by Machine Gun Kelly. Lucy and Felix. Uh, Olympia ran who, off. Who comes later on in the movie. Uh Charlie, Charlie who comes later on. Well, Charlie's there. Charlie's there. there. He's there initially. Charlie's there. He's the guy with all the theories and he's making he's a book. And, team. Yeah, studying all, you know, the ancient creatures. We have Gary who Gary. comes later and Greg. Greg. Who right. made a very, made a very, very, very racial decision. decision. So early on, they're trying to see, you know. And there was another lady there. It was a lady. I don't really right. remember. Cheryl. But Cheryl. Yeah, it was an older lady. Yeah, it was an old lady. Older lady. Older lady. I think yeah. it was Cheryl. Yeah, she was the one who was like 
helping deliver the babies. Yeah. Right? But uh, so Greg, right? He's an Asian character. Um, if anybody watched Law and Order, he uh, played by B.D. Wong. B.D. Wong, yep. So Great he's, guy. he's, he's Great Douglas's actor. neighbor, Bad right? Decision. Douglas and Greg, or Gary, or no, Greg, they don't really get along because he's an artist, he's building stuff, and Greg is a, I mean, Douglas is an old, ancient, cranky, he's, he's cranky, cranky old guy, angry. right? He doesn't like it. I feel so, like he was much happier before his wife died. Yeah, he's very, very much happy. I think he, he kind of instantly turned angry instantly. old man. So Greg. <laughs> Was like, hey, we got cameras set up all over the house. Maybe we can see where these creatures are, and we can kind of navigate ourselves. We're not looking at it directly. We gonna look through a TV screen. Bad idea. Doug was like, hey, that's a stupid idea. Because if you look at it, you die. If you look at it through a screen, what's the difference between looking at it in the screen, or looking at it in person? You see it, it knows it, you die. You die, right? Mm -hmm. So. Hey, he decides to give it a try, strap himself to a chair so he can't hurt himself. No and the whole, there, somebody else should have been in that room with there, him. Watching so them. Snatch the plug, snatch the plug out the screen. It. Like, hey, you know, don't hurt yourself. You know, something. something. No. He, I, I feel like he, he could have possibly could've been, been saved. Could have been. He dies, of course. He sees the creature through the monitor. And he comes in. He falls. It's sad. Boom. He dies, right? Lucy and Felix. <sighs> Two other characters that's in. They're young. They're young, you know. They're lovers, whatever. They're not making the best decisions. Five people are. So Charlie is. He owns. Well, he runs. He's like a manager at a grocery yeah. store. Yeah. He locks it up when everybody starts going crazy, and he says, "Hey, I know the way to the grocery store. It's right up the street. We need supplies." Boom. Five of them get in the car. They all kind of paint the windows so they, they can't see. They were running on the rocks and curbs. People. Uh, <laughs> What's that? Yeah, so they get to the grocery store, and this is where Greg shines the bright light of hope. He says, not Greg, but Douglas, Douglas. I'm sorry, he called him Greg. Douglas was like, hey man, we are in the grocery store with all supplies. We can just stay here, ain't no need to go back home. And everybody else said, hey, we can't leave the people back in the house. It's not fair. And he said, let them fend for themselves. They're good. We can just stay here with all the supplies. He went straight to the liquor aisle. My <laughs> man's. My man's. That's what I'm talking about. Plus one for Douglas. Right? So they talking me all into guilt tripping them, saying, hey, we need to go back. But then that's when the monsters show their head where the crazy people start roaming. Right? A good friend of, of Charlie. Of Charlie. They, said, they got to Charlie's. Friend. They got to Charlie's yeah. friend. He was a crazy person who broke out of the well, he was let loose from this insane asylum yeah. who was working in. But he was a good he was a good guy. He was, he was a good guy. He was, he was working, guy. was trying to earn his living. They called him fish fingers or something like that. Something like that. Yeah, fish fingers. And he was crying at the back door. He was like, Oh I know, I recognize that dude, this is who this dude is. They try to open the door to let him in. That dude is crazy. Right? So he had to take one for the team. He rushed out there to push the dude back so everybody else can live. And lo and behold, he sees the creature and he dies. Yeah, he and Douglas said, how is this guy walking outside with no dang blindfold on? My thoughts exactly. I said, how he outside saying, let me in, let me in. And he outside with no blindfold. This is before Gary came along, right? This is before Gary came before along. Before Gary came along and told us why. Mm hmm by telling on other people when he was really telling on himself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Gary's so, crazy. so Olivia's <laughs> pregnant. She's up in the middle of the night. They get back to the house, right, from the grocery store. They bring all the supplies back so they can have more food. We may or may not have skipped around some stuff. But that's that's the main yeah, scene. It's the joke. Grocery store, <laughs> back into the house. Boom. You know, Douglas is like, hey, we can't be letting people in. We need to survive. We need to ration. Here comes Olivia knocking on the door. She says she's been roaming for weeks. And she just, she's just going from house to house, knocking on doors, hopefully somebody will let her in. She's pregnant. She needs help. You right? know, at this point, they're all weary because old dude at the grocery store was walking around out there. Going crazy. Going so they're like, we just can't be letting people in because there's crazy people outside, right? So Olympia comes in, mad pregnant, by the way, yeah. right? Come in making bad decisions. They let her know that, listen, we ain't got a lot of food. You, you over pregnant. Don't be eating up everything. This is how we answer doors. You don't answer the door by yourself. She knows this. Knows this. She knows this. And guess what Olympia does? You can guess. This is how we get Gary. 
Olympia, in the middle of the night, opens the door for a stranger knocking like, at the Mallory door. Mallory couldn't even get her gun fast enough. Mallory, right? go, let me get the gun, let me get what the gun. What are you doing? She lets him in, everybody wakes up. I think Douglas is about to flip Douglas, his top. Douglas is literally <laughs> about to put her out the house. Like, I don't care, you and your baby can roam the streets by yourself because you violating all the rules of survival. Put all everybody's rules. safety. Everybody say the end day. Right? Window. So Douglas said, hey, she need to get out of my house. Hey, this is my house, you're gonna get out. But you know, you know, it's seven to one at this point, or something like that. They said, hey, hey Douglas, uh, you gotta stay in the yeah, house. Yeah, you know, you stay, in, stay the house, in the house. You know, and then Gary comes in because Douglas is tripping about He seemed like a legit guy. He seemed legit he seemed, when he first yeah, came he in. Like he was normal. like some crazy people try to pull their masks off and they were outside and he was with two, three other, two, two other people, yeah. and they managed to pull, you know, their stuff off, and the he managed to get people, away. The crazy, the crazy people was out running around. Yeah. So, like we said before, it don't affect crazy people, right? right. So we was like, is he crazy? He don't look crazy. Nothing about him oh, came yeah. off as crazy. He was wearing a suit. He looked like he'd been roaming around for a few days. It was like. Hey, maybe he, yeah. he was he running around. The truth. He, he left the let city. Let us know that there's another type of people running, running out, out there, out there that doing we all crazy stuff, about. right? Wish they should have knew because of all uh, fish fingers. Fish fingers. fingers. Fish fingers. Yeah. Right. So later on that day, Douglas is still tripping. Like y'all let this dude in my house. He got like, oh, <laughs> Not happy. Doug's about to blow his brains out, right? They put Douglas. In the garage. Say, Gary hey, put him in the garage. You need to, you need to calm down. You need to chill out because you you doing so much, right? Then everybody they they go into labor. Like they, yeah, they put him and they put those there. It's like you get the time out. Yeah, they time put him on time out, right? Yeah. And then that's when Mallory and Olympia are two pregnant people going into labor, right? And then that's when everything starts going crazy. Gary, Gary's like, it is time. It's time. It's, it's time to destroy some people. He takes the birds. The birds notify people when the crazies are around. Takes them, puts them in the refrigerator, so close the door. That's another question I had. So if he goes to put the birds in the thing, like why didn't the birds initially so pick up on the him? birds pick up on the creatures, not crazy people? Oh. Yeah. You know. But no, they, cause then they start no one knows when they're outside. You're right. Yeah, that's when they're right. outside. The birds pick up on crazy people. No, crazy the entities. The entity. Not. The crazy people. And that's so, that's the scary part that's right a, there. That's, that's the scary part. You have no way of knowing, really. So, but honestly, they, they kind of was very least, obvious. That leads to more questions about what I had about the movie towards the end. <laughs> you know, so he puts the birds in the refrigerator because he's about to start wrecking everything. Yeah. Breaking windows, pulling the all paper the, down. the paper down, the cloth, the curtains from the, the windows. But not before he pays Douglas a visit. Hey. Douglas see him doing all this. He's like, yo, hey, somebody come get this dude. I, I think He's Douglas was in there like, I told y'all. So they had to show <laughs> Douglas. Because Douglas was the only, he, he kept 100 through the whole movie. Yeah. He's the only real one. We like, yo, why everybody else acting stupid? If y'all just listen to Douglas, Bad that wouldn't have this situation, right? He opens the garage door. He tried to kill Douglas. He tried to kill my boy. You know what I'm saying? I was mad. I was heated. I was like, yo, he got to die. I said, I said straight up, yo, he got to die. Somebody got to kill him. Gary got to go. He killed the realest person in the damn movie. Needless to say, my boy Doug is a survivor. He's a survivor. He comes back later on. Yeah. He goes upstairs. Well, Gary goes Wait, upstairs. Did Gary go upstairs after he knocked Tom out? Gary goes upstairs after he knocks Tom out. Correct. Tom seen the pictures and he was making his way. Yeah, Tom was like, what is this? And then he knocks him out. Yeah. And then he goes Doug upstairs. Douglas tried to warn him, but it Doug has tried. It didn't he knocks Tom out. Then Gary goes upstairs, opens up the old lady. What's her name? Cheryl. Cheryl opens up her eyes, tell her to look at the entities because she already ripped the stuff off the, the, the window when it was having birth she, she tried. She tried. She tried not to look. He opened the eyes up. Things open. <laughs> yeah, she was done. So Olympia actually has the baby. They both kind of have them kind of at the same time. Yeah. You don't really see, or do you see who having birth? Don't I mean, really Olympia, know. I don't know. Baby the baby first. comes out. Olympia's holding her baby, and then. He tells her to look, look at the stuff, and she sees it, and she starts going crazy, but she's holding the baby, but then Mallory, not seeing it, was like, give me your baby, because she already she, knows, she knows that she's about to go kill herself, she's right? Like, so just give me the baby, I'm going to take care of the baby. Olympia jumps out the window, and she dies. That's where we get girl. That's how we get girl. Olympia had a girl, and Mallory named her girl. She, she didn't get a chance to name her. She didn't get a chance to name her. 
Uh, then after that, um, my boy Douglas comes back to yeah. stage today, knocks out uh, Gary. Gary, and he thought he was dead. Gets uh, <laughs> Mallory. They start talking. Lo and behold, just like old movie magic, Gary gets Here back up. Gary. <laughs> Step, step, step. <laughs> Finishes off my boy Douglas, man. I thought, man, I thought Douglas was gonna make it. I thought he was gonna make it. I thought he was gonna make it. Hey, can't keep him all, right? <laughs> Douglas dies. Mallory Hyde's are gonna recover. Ask him, please don't kill me. But, like, that's gonna really help. Baby. That's when my boy Tom comes back. Saves the day. Tom wasn't dead. He wasn't he dead. Was he was just knocked out. out he was right? just knocked out. Just knocked out. Tom gets up, saves the day. Now we only got two survivors and two kids. We got Tom, you got Mallory, boy, and girl. So they go about their life five years just later. Living, just living, just living it blindfolded up. Life. Blindfolded life. <laughs> and this is when we know that the crazy people are going around looking for, they call them the blindfolded people. People with blindfolds on. Yeah. They're trying to expose their eyes so they can see the creatures and say, hey, you need to look. Or they just going out doing malicious stuff because they're crazy and they just want to kill people. Yeah, because they, they show them driving up to house. They drive around house to house. They show them to a house with where people they're in scavenging it. Them. Scavenging. And yeah. like, hey, we didn't, there's nobody here. Then they finally get to a house where they find somebody. You hear them kill people in the distance. You and see them drag them out to look at the beautiful. Yeah, <laughs> drag them out. You know, they die. All while, you know, Tom and Mallory built the system where. They got ropes where everywhere they need to go, they count it's out been, steps. It's been years, you It's guys. been years. It's, it's been, been five years. They've been living five years so amongst all the madness. This routine is Going down. from house to house, house to house, avoiding the crazies, blindfolding themselves, not looking at the injuries. Boy, right? girl, they both know. They don't already know. Don't take these blindfolds off. off. Or, is, you or, know, or, or Mallory will hurt Mallory them. going in, right? So <laughs> she going to hurt them. Lo and behold, you know, they can't run forever from the crazy peoples. Crazy people find them and, you know, I don't even think it was like they found them. They, if coincidences, man. Coincidences they, happen. They go to a house to scavenge. Yeah. The uh, crazy people showed up. Yeah, they they run into each other. They yeah, ran into the crazy people, right? So Tom knew it was a situation where, hey, we all ain't gonna get out of here alive. You know, let me create a diversion. Mallory escaped with the kids. Good luck, right? He creates a diversion. In the midst of that, he was like, man, I can't fight these people. They can see me, and I'm blindfolded. He knew he was going to have to take off his blindfold. He, take, he takes off his blindfold. Yeah, he, he took, he took, did he get off? No, did he get them all? He, he, he killed them all. He killed them all. He killed them all. Be before he succumbed to the beautiful. Yeah, before he succumbed <laughs> to the beautiful. Tom went out like a G. He was like, man, I can't. Because he shot like three of them with the blindfold on and went till they got close and let them have it. Clearly, right. he, he done have some training. He done have some, he done have some. He looked like it. He, he, don't he, he, he done, done some, some things, this seen thing. some stuff. You know what I'm saying? I you should be <laughs> one of the crazies. I don't know. But, you know, he was like, forget it. I'm going to take my mask off. I'm going to sacrifice myself so I can save Mallory because they become a love couple, a love interest in this he, he was trying to get Mallory from good guy. Yeah, he was. Like, hey, girl, what's up, man? Take a blindfold off. Well, keep it on. It don't matter to me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> However, how that situation works out. So he takes his blindfold off and he says, I'm going to kill these people. One of the crazies runs after Mallory and the kids and he knows it, so he's trying to come save the day. But then he sees a crazy entity. It got and then it was like, oh, I'm about to get it. But he had some fight in him because yeah, he, he kind of, he fought off. His mind was strong. Yeah, his mind, he fought off the entity yeah. for a second because the entity went in. He was yeah. trying to put the gun to his head, but then he was like fighting, pointed the gun at the dude he needed to shoot, shot the dude, killed him before killing himself. And then Mallory gets away. Long story short, they on a river for what? 72 hours or something yeah, like that. Seven, about 72 hours. 72 hours. They said it was like a, a three day trip. Three day trip. Like that trip. Three day trip up a river. Yeah. And you know, you're going to need somebody to look, somebody got to sacrifice. And this was the crazy part of the movie, this man. So Mallory said, hey, there's going to be a point where I'm going to need somebody to look. If I look, we won't make it. So she telling the kids. Man, these kids like five years old. That one of y'all have to be sacrificed Somebody for have to look. us to be saved. Mallory's son say, "I'll do it." Mama, I'll do it. I'm brave, right? She was the like, "No." That relief. I'm gonna make the choice. The girl was like, "Who? He gonna he gonna do it? I ain't gotta die." <laughs> she was like, "No, I'm gonna make the choice." And girl, then the girl man. tested the water. Was like, "I'll do it." Mallory ain't say nothing. The girl was like. I saw her little heart break. Oh, man. They're trying to kill me. <laughs> her little heart broke. They're trying to kill me. Oh, man. But that's when you started to notice that Mallory started gaining connections uh, yeah, to people. Yeah, she, she couldn't do it. Even though it was like, hey, I'm a sacrifice. I mean, this child ain't mine. Hey, hey my turn. You know what I'm saying? I got my son. But, you know, 
At the end of the day, at the end of the day, she didn't let none of them look. Basically, that's what she was trying to preach to them, like, no, y'all gonna have to look. So they make it to them. was gonna go on a hope. On a hope, hopes and hopes and dreams, right? They don't make it. They make it to the safe house. Knock on the door. The creatures don't call up to them, telling Mary to look. I'm, I'm confused on even how she found her kid. Cause she gets separated from kids at one point. They fall down. Ooh, she goes to sleep. Connection. And yeah, it was weird. I mean, because the, the kids were very well trained. trained. Yeah. Cause I'm not gonna lie, that was my kids. Yeah, yeah, our kids would've been gone. Been like, Dang, they they would, they would've been like, yeah. and I was like, yes, I'm gonna have to go go hunt down this enemy. Ain't ain't gotta find me. Gotta get rid of this enemy, right? Gotta so, go out. <laughs> they make it. You know, she gets separated from the kids, she gets back to the kids, she starts hearing voices that's supposed to be the kids, but at the same time, the entity tempts you to take yeah. off the mask. And the whole time it's like kids. it's acting yeah. like the kids and it was acting like it was Mallory to the kids and nobody would took off the mask. I think that was like a play on their connection. Connection. Like, they knew how strong, like, like no, don't do no, it. That's don't not do her. it. That ain't her. Like, they're not my kids. Like, yep. like, all that. They, they even tried to say it was time. I believe. Yeah, it was time. like, come on now. Come on now, time. <laughs> He's dead. I dead. think I think I think the enemy started getting desperate. <laughs> <It's really> desperate. <laughs> started getting started, desperate. You can tell it started getting bad. When it started going harder, I'm like, hey, hey, come on, man, what's going on? They make it to the school. <laughs> they make it to the school. It's a school for the blind. The people out there are blind, so that's why the entities can't harm them. But that leads me to this question: There's crazies running about, right? Correct. In the woods. What if they stumble upon this school for the blind? Granted, there are some people who can see in this school. Right. How do they fight off all these crazy thugs? Because it ain't, it ain't it's a whole no, bunch of kids. Are, those are people. people. <laughs> you know what I'm how, you, how you fight these people off? What if they attack the school because the, the roof is made of glass? Yes. What if, what if the glass break? People can climb. Yeah. You know, <laughs> those are some of the questions I have, and that's the story kind of ends there, and it's just like. Just flat out. Like, alright. What happens so next? I mean. Yeah, I mean, after a while, you know, the entity's just like, we can't kill anybody else because everybody who can see is dead. Now we got us crazy people and blind people. So Either the like crazy the people going to kill the blind people or the crazy people just going to start having babies. <laughs> and, 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 but we nobody knows. You know, but it just ends. I'm gonna assume because there's crazy women, there's crazy dudes, they running in packs. I mean, like, eventually, he's like, hey, crazy, what up, crazy? Let's get crazy. Let's get crazy, right? Yo. So, so, I mean, I don't know. It just it, like like I said, yeah, it, so it was the the ending was very very flat. Very flat. I don't feel like we need to really go into oh, their name is boy and girl. Yeah, and she, she finally gets a name. She named them. She Tom named them at the Olympia. very end. Tom and Olivia. We, we just throw that in there. Oh, how cute, right? Yeah. But uh, overall, you know, the movie was a great movie. I, I still good. encourage you that to watch end, it. Even though the end is flat and you don't really see the creatures, the way the characters are played out, how they act, and how the story just moves right along. I like I that like they got it. rid of characters that really didn't, didn't matter. Didn't do anything, do for, anything the story. for the story. They just kind of yeah. like Felix and Lucy, oh, we can need this car. Take y'all food when we out. Nah, <laughs> nah. They, so they didn't do anything for the immediate story, but for overall. That's how pretty much you can see the all scenarios around the world, even though we just seen them. It was like, there's going to be some selfish people that are going to try to save themselves, right? And that was them. And look what happened when you try to, Because you know, they didn't even go to the store They didn't go to the store to get food they took or anything. The car, they took the car, the food, and dip, right? And die. And they didn't make it far, right? And die. <laughs> thought, I'm just going to be in the car. If you see the entity, we just going to run it over. Wrong, right? I don't know if that was planning on them being young and, yeah. and just foolish and it, I, I think it was all of it, all of it together. And the, you, the you, Douglas, the old guy, he was still rational. Cause him and Mallory, even though they bumped heads on ideas on hey, you gotta be tough, I and you gotta take care of yourself, survival, Mallory was like, hey, we need to save more people as we can. They still had a moment where he was like, hey, the crazy person usually always survives in the end or something like that. And she could respect that what he was saying because it was like, you have to be hard to a certain extent if, right. you know, if you want to survive. And they had a dream they shared. They started laughing about it. And she wasn't I mean, so it was mad a serious it. situation. It was a serious situation. <laughs> serious situation. And, you, know, it, you know, but they kind of, they met out of eye. They understood both sides where everybody was coming from. And that's what I, I kind of like. I, I feel like 
Tom and Douglas. It should have been Mallory, Tom, and Douglas. At the end, yeah. Boy and girl. Yeah, well, Douglas, 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 I mean. <laughs> I'd, have been, I'd have been totally fine. Boy, girl, Mallory, and Tom didn't make it. And then it was like Douglas. Hey, I told y'all. I tried, I tried to tell y'all. I was so, rooting yeah. for you. I was rooting for you, Douglas. Yeah, so, I mean, we're, we're going to leave it at that. I mean, the movie is always up to Rated. your One interpretation. Five. Yeah, rated. One through five. One through five, what you get it? Out of five I'll stars. Give it a four. Four stars? I'll give it a four. Okay. I want to say four, but a part of me wants to say three and a half because of the ending and <laughs> not seeing the creature at least once. 3.75. At least once. It's some type of way to combat it. I, I feel like it. that was almost a point, though, like, to, it's up to everybody's interpretation, like, Cause I'm pretty sure how I would probably imagine the creature is totally different than what you would probably imagine, and like all over it was kind of just thrown up in the yeah, air, like okay. to to make you think, I guess to make you think. But I, think I still wanted to see because even it, when Gary put the pictures out, he, there was multiple multiple creatures. He, yeah. Okay, so. but at the same time, all the creatures still make everybody do the kind of the same thing. True. So it kind of felt like the creatures are all on the same team. I mean, demons, like like what is it? What ultimately can fight off these things? You know, there has to be some balance. If there's some just, evil force running around, there has to be, has something, to be that something else that yeah. can, you know, counter. It just can't be hard. If evil things lose, it's going to be evil forever. You know, <laughs> I, you know, it, I mean, I don't know. There really has know. to be a way. There has to be something. something you know, that you can be like, okay, this subsides. This, uh, like, what was the movie? Happening. No, well, happening too, but. um Hopefully. Please don't mention Cloverfield again. <laughs> um, Jeepers Creepers, you know, where he was on a cycle, where he used yeah, to come out and yeah. you know, come out and kill people, whatever, whatever, whatever. And when his time is up, he just go dormant yeah, for so a long time. We, so we go either need a part two. Part two. Oh, that's gonna give us some background. Yeah. Or let us see. There is a book. That's gonna there is a book. Is there is it? a book. I believe it's based on a book. I believe. And or no, I don't think there's a book. I think they were, they were talking about alternate endings and how the director wanted to leave the ending out because basically it's a sad ending pretty much, you know Everybody what I'm saying? Down. Where the crazy people get in and the creatures actually murk their way into the, into the school of the blind and you can only imagine what happens there. But I didn't even know. Yeah, I, I'm just, you, I was just YouTube around. <laughs> it was like all the ending scenes that they took out, how, how they wanted to give the movie a, a darker overcast. like. People don't make it. You know what I'm saying? Basically, this is the end of the world. Oh, all that work. <laughs> yeah, everybody dies, right? So, yeah. Anyway, that's all I got for this movie. Like I said, I want to give it four stars, but three and a half, four stars. It's right around there in that area. Still a must-watch movie. Definitely go check it out. It's a good movie. Great Netflix film. Netflix means stepping your game up, man, to say the least. Definitely. Alright guys, if you like what you saw, you know, if you want to see more videos from us, more movie reviews, hit that bell, hit the like, subscribe button, leave a comment down below, tell us what you think, and until next time, be incredible.